Hello there and this is Who Ha Sports Today, your daily sports update and review show covering all that's happening in your world of football and beyond. Today we will look at what the fans are talking about, in particular the Chelsea and Arsenal fans, as one team seems to be rejuvenated while the other suffered two defeats on the trot. And now, after last night's results between Stoke and Newcastle, they have slipped to fourth. So, we'll start with Newcastle. Final score at the Britannia, Stoke 1, Newcastle 3. Dembaba netting all of United's goals. I mean, Newcastle, seriously? Taking a look at the Toon Army Malaysia's Facebook page this morning to a post by Aizuddin Dalian. He can't believe it himself, as Stoke were unbeaten at home and even holding Chelsea to a scoreless draw at the start of the season. While Zeno Valentino posted the league table, they are now third and just one point behind Manchester United. And amazingly, still unbeaten. But November will be extremely crucial for the Toon Army. Everton at home, they should win that. But City, United and Chelsea, back to back to back. Tough, very tough. Tomorrow we will look at who can solidify third. There's about three to four clubs vying for that spot and we will look at the fixtures for November and who will most likely secure that position. But now we switch our attention to the two clubs, Chelsea and Arsenal. Mixed fortunes for both London clubs, especially in recent weeks, compared to how they started the season. And after the weekend's results, the fans are talking. On the Chelsea Malaysia Facebook page, Rizal Zukilfi's post tagging Peter Cech's comments on the poor defending, Rizal comments that it's time Cech takes a hard look at the mirror. While threading that post, Reza Jamil suggests to bench non-performing players, even John Terry. On the official Chelsea page, Hussein Raji poses a few questions to Andrea Vilash Bosch. One in particular is that why does Jose Bersingwa play in every game? Love more Mpukusa, sounds like a footballer himself, talks about AVB's lack of maturity and points out the defensive frailties. But I go with Vincent Camilleri's comments on the leaky defence, especially at home, let alone the five Arsenal put past them. While it's back-to-back losses for the Blues, Chelsea, uh, Arsenal look to have made a turn and are now unbeaten in the last three. And it seems that all has been forgiven with Arsene Wenger. Recapping Saturday's game, Emma Driscoll says that the team showed their best qualities but questioned the referee's one-sidedness, which I think is untrue. But that's just me. Meanwhile, Charlie believes that they have turned the corner and with the injured players coming back, the Gunners will only go from strength to strength. And Benele Matsibula confirms Wenger's redemption. You sure? It's Wenger you should be thanking instead of Robin and Percy Benele. Well, we all know how fans can turn on their team and manager in an instant. But that's just part of the game, innit? And that will be it for today. So we meet again tomorrow with a look at how the top seven will fare with the November fixtures from the team here at Hoo Ha Sports. Thanks for tuning in, but it's bye for now.